My name is Diane Heisek. I will be showing how to use conditional formatting with pivot tables, which is from page 149. That's a picture of the Chicago styling from a recent trip that I had. So to start this off, I'm going to go to the data. Just click inside the data, go to Insert, Pivot Table, click OK. Then I'm going to uh, select for this pivot table, I'm going to select Market. And I'm going to have two of uh, the sales amount values in this pivot table. I'm going to format the first one so that the numbers are in uh, currency format. So I've gone to um, value field settings, number format, currency. I'm going to get rid of those two of the decimal places. Click OK. OK one more time. Now the first column has been formatted to currency. The second one here I'm going to select is where I'm going to use the conditional formatting. So I'm going to select all of the uh, amounts, all the values there. I'm going to go to Home, and I'm going to go to Conditional Formatting. For this, I'm going to select the data bars, and I'm going to pick, I think I like the pink. So I'll pick the pink. While it's still highlighted, I'm going to go back to Conditional Formatting. Go to Manage Rules. Select the data bar rule and go to edit rule. And I'm going to check the show bar only. So that way you're only going to see the bar and not the amounts. Make it a little bit less cluttered since we already have the amounts in the other column. So I click that. I'll go ahead and click OK. OK one more time. And now the values have disappeared from the field. So I, oh, once again I'm only left with the values on one side, the bars on the other side. So if I want to, I can even add some more formatting on top of that. So if, for example, I want to show just the, you know, maybe the top 10%, maybe instead of top 10, maybe I'll pick the top, but uh, we'll pick the top 20. And I will use a uh, uh, light green fill. So we'll hit light green fill. And now you can see that I still have the top. 10-20% columns have now been selected for me also if it wasn't easy enough already to see. So just, you know, you can add multiple or multiple types of conditional formatting to your pivot table. Um, and those, these uh, uh, values, um, the conditional formatting also is affected by uh, filtering. So if I want to go ahead and only select, uh, we'll pick the top top six here. I'll just go ahead and click OK. And now it's adjusted so that way only the top six um, show and the uh, the conditional formula has been adjusted at. So let me get rid of California because that's the big biggest one on the chart to begin with. And I'll go ahead and pick a smaller one. So now you can see the values automatically did change so that way it's not just what it was to begin with in the original chart they do adjust to um, what has just been filtered to. So that is how you use conditional formatting. Um, and those are the resources I've used for my data table or my data set and uh, the, for the textbook. Thank you.